Mike, so what was your relationship with Alcohol Light before joining the comeback? It was, uh, it was not some, it had grown from something I enjoyed to something that I kind of, that I needed, like daily. Um, and I used it to, for loneliness, for sadness, for, um, yeah, I would still drink to be in a good mood, but it was a constant presence, like a constant daily presence. And, um, there were days when I felt like I couldn't make it through the day without a drink. And, um, it caused problems, you know, it just, it was, it was controlling me on a daily basis. What's your relationship with it like now after the comeback? After the comeback, I have control on whether I want to enjoy alcohol in a positive setting or I don't. I can go, I don't have to force myself to drink or not drink or, you know, I have, it, the thing that surprised me is alcohol really became almost the smallest part of this whole thing. You know, it started out as I need help with uh, drinking, but I didn't realize that drinking wasn't the issue. The issue was all of the stuff in my life that was causing the drinking, you know, and um, I occasionally have a drink now, but these times are times when I want to have a drink and a lot of times I don't want to have a drink and I can get through boredom and loneliness and, you know, I've just discovered a whole, a whole lot of new ways to deal with those problems that were causing it before. What do you think the biggest gift the comeback has given you, but ultimately you gave yourself is? Permission to be who I am, to find out who I am, you know, um, and stop hiding behind excuses and being truthful, you know stop lying to myself and stop uh, stop lying to other people was easier than stopping lying to myself you know um i have a, a better relationship with my girlfriend much better um i'm present with my kids you know um it's 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 given me a lot of things but the biggest thing is it's given me it's it's helped me peel away all that stuff that let me see who i am and i can look in the mirror i couldn't look at myself in the mirror. and now i can Guys that are on the fence, maybe like yourself, sitting there thinking, should I drink, should I not drink, skeptical, worried about making the choice, give, would you recommend them, would you give them some advice, what would you say to that guy? I would say that if you were having trouble deciding whether to drink or not drink, then something else is at work, and you need to dig down and find out what that is. Because if you want to have a drink, and you consciously decide to have a drink, and you know who you are and you know, you know, where your place is, it, you're not going to ever ask that question. But if you can't make the decision or it feels like out of your control, there's something underneath that I, I never even realized that was, you know, a, a presence in my life, that there was something else going on. I thought it was just me deciding. And that's what I, that's what I tell them. Dig in and find out what that is. You know, there's something. What are you lying about? What are you dealing with? What are you, there's something down there you may not even know about, you know? There was a lot I didn't know about that I found.